BU football is back. After 12 years without a team, BU students and alumni are coming together to bring back the tradition. The primary thing was it's, you know, there's, a, there's an obvious void. Uh, a lot of people were missing football. Sophomore Nikki Bruner missed football so much that she wanted to get involved in bringing the sport back. Now, as president of the club, Nikki has a lot of responsibilities. Pretty much all the administrative work, so anything from you know booking practice fields to, to our home fields, to booking transportation, to coordinating the players, make sure they have their uniforms. Besides Nikki, the coaches play a large role in the success of the team. Their enthusiasm inspires the players to stay dedicated during every practice and every game. The coaches are fun. You would expect from seeing the movies that all coaches would be super strict, um, like Ditka style, but they're actually a lot of fun. They're fun people, but they love their, what they do and they want us to excel, so they can be a bit tough as well. The team members also have to motivate each other on the field. The more experienced players must work hard to teach the newcomers. Together, their passion for the game is what keeps them going every day. It's a different game. You know, practice only a few times a week and then game day, but it's, it's people that love the game rather than playing back in high school for the girls or for your family or for friends. It's different here. It's more just for the game. Within a couple of months, the players have managed to form a tight-knit group. They are excited about the support from other BU students so far, with over 300 fans at their first game. The group only hopes to be playing on Nickerson Field one day. The Terriers are confident about their season after winning their first game, but are always looking for more players. If you're interested, find them on Facebook or contact Nikki Bruner, president of the football team. For Terrier Nation, I'm Molly Ford.